Mulibwanji, wherever you are, it's Patterson Kwamura. Today I'll be giving you all Sungura codes from A to G. So let's jump in. Whoa. Okay, so um, we have seven codes, right, in music. So we have seven major codes, we have seven minor codes, we have diminished codes. Uh, first of all, let's just go with open codes. So uh, we're going to cover up with the open codes and uh, bar codes. And this will give you um, a clear picture on the codes, how they go, and then after that when you go to minor, diminish the roll and then etc. It will be much easier. And then the last one, just simplify them the way most Sungura will play them. Because most of Sungura, you know, when it comes to play them, people don't play um, like a normal chord, like, you know, without an edge, like. Okay, so, um, where is our A? So when you start barring using that one, it's like we are playing those open chords, but now we are just barring this this bridge here. It will be replaced by this finger here, which is the index finger. So if we mix all the open chords and the bar chords, it will bring a clear picture on uh, how Sungura chords go. So our bar chord now should be the E. We go on F. So here. We are using this open E string, right? So if we move to F, we are now using the index finger. So it's now a bar chord. Using this, the same way we hold our E, then we just start to bar it. This is now an F major. We go to G major. We go to A major. So someone might ask, okay, so now how will this be helpful, you know, when I'm playing so well? So let's go to C. So if you want to buy it, yes, uh, number five, number six, so from this one. This is C major. This is our one. Remember the one, four, five? So now we want to use the open chords and uh, the, the bar chords we just use. Okay, yes, for now let's just use the bar chords only. So it will be from C to F, then go to C to G. Okay, so let's play our Sumura using bar chords. Only the same shape that we're using here on the bar chords. Avoid moving around on the rhythm guitar. This chord here, you will find it here. So instead of going like, you go like. Asking, you know, what are the Sungura chords? Which chords that are being, are being used in Sungura, right? If you, let's say, for example, have to move to jazz, jazz music will be uh, two, five, one. Remember, Sungura is one, four, five, right? What I just did now. Is, so, which means anyone can play any music. If once you have this understanding, just use the open chords and the bar chords and introduce the uh, how you count. It will be much easier. And I'll just revise on the counting. On the counting, it is it's simple. You know, from you just list all the chords. Let's say, for example, if we start from C, like C, E, F, G, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Um, from that first chord, that is one, two, three, and will be three. So one, three. So for example, if it's uh, C number one, which will be three? C, G, G. So C will be 
or one, three will be in. So in Sungura we go like one, four, five. So what will be our four if we start from C? Our C is one. So what will be the fourth key? So it will be C, G, E, F. So it will be C, what we have. That's how we will come. So if it was G, it will be two, five, one. Same way you have your chords listed, listed down. Let's go choose, okay, this is the second chord, the fifth one, and this is the first one. You are playing jazz. So I hope you know this video brought some light. In the next video, I'll be giving you uh, the chord shapes that I use to work. Uh, the third video, which will be the last video, this uh, lesson I'm giving you will be four basic chord types. Okay, so we have all the chords, we have the chord shapes, and then we have chord types. So thank you guys, I hope this was helpful. Uh, any questions in the comment section? This one.